Ben Carson, presidential pardons. Is it going to stand in New York? I thought I'd look into that. And if you like the video, I hope that you'll tell me you like it or and at least subscribe. And uh, I appreciate you very much. Thanks. <music>
Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton. Now, 2017 to 2020, he was a board member of a payments company, and then federal prosecutors charged him with interstate cyber stalking and other related offenses. 2018, he founded a media company in Washington, D.C., where a prominent female writer wrote an article claiming uh, he withdrew a job offer from her because she didn't respond to sexual advances. And he categorically, of course, denied everything. FBI agents interviewed her. He was under consideration for this uh, unpaid position in the Trump administration, and he had been considered for the board of the National Endowment for the Humanities. He withdrew, though, because of the vetting process. I'm going to find out too to find out too much. In 2020, uh, federal prosecutors did charge him with interstate cyber stalking and harassment of that doctor. And according to federal prosecutors, he used aliases to post a flood of negative Yelp and reviews about the doctor, sent her threatening emails, harassed her with anonymous calls, and delivered messages to other Mount Sinai employees claiming the physician was having an affair with her boss. Mount Sinai Hospital was so concerned about the harassment at the time, it hired someone to actually protect her. Uh, 2021, Knudsen was, or Kersen, what I want to say Knudsen, Kersen was granted a full pardon by 45, of course he was, the last full day of the, last full day of the presidency. And the White House said Kersen's ex-wife wrote a powerful uh, letter to the prosecutors on his behalf. It said she never wanted this investigation or arrest, and of course she didn't, and that the investigation only took place because of the vetting process, of course it did, and he's is an upstanding citizen and father to five beautiful children. He probably is all of those things and a, uh, a pervert. The White House statement did not mention the other alleged victims and that the pardon stood out from other persons' pardon. Some of the people he stalked and harassed fear that, uh, that as an ongoing threat. The doctor was terrified by the pardon. And then the New York State uh, felony, uh, oh, New York State, New York State filed felony charges of cyber stalking for offenses in 2015 and 2016. The elements include the implementation of, of, of spyware that allowed him to monitor his wife's, who, uh, his wife's uh, emails as she typed and access to her email and Facebook password. Cy Vance, district attorney from uh, Manhattan, said, we will not accept presidential pardons as get-out-of-jail-free get cards for the well-connected uh, in New York. Well, that's very interesting. So this fella has got some splaining to do. Okay, so this is the Visconti Tarot, and this is a um, Los Carabillo uh, deck here. These are gilded, and they're very cool to um, to use. I just don't know that they show up as well on the camera as they look in person. Um, I don't think they do. The uh, instruction booklet that comes with them is, you know, run-of-the-mill. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, so it's fun. Now the cards are, you know, regular shape, and and the cool thing about them is the gilding uh, that's on them. So that's what's so very nice. I mean, in person, they're really amazing, amazing. And I don't think they show up this well on the camera, um, but um, but they're still fun to use. And there's some people that this really gilded look of card really is the right, or some situations where this is the right thing to use. So I spread these out so that you can get a look at them and see what kind of different cards are. I've got quite a few decks. And um, what I do actually is I use credit cards that give me uh, uh, cash benefits. And then that's what I use to buy these cards with. So there you go. So if you think you'd like these Visconti Tarot, then you should give them a try. Well, good grief, Ken. Person Ken Kerson started out um, in just a regular, you know, family. His dad sold motorcycle parts, big deal. Sometimes they did well, some, a lot of times they didn't, big deal. That happens to a lot of folks. Uh, but he got out of it, but then, you know, quits college. And uh, so, I don't know, let's just see, he forms a band, two bands, writes, and then eventually, look how far he's risen. I mean, it's amazing what you can do. Um, I was going to say in this country, but I think you can do that in the world. You think about it so it's amazing that it happens in this country that's what i think uh, we're shocked with but ken Kerson, ken Kerson, ken Kerson. what kind of person is ken Kerson? uh what can the cards tell us so this thing with jared kushner he like brought him into the fold uh, of the trump uh, organization so ken Kerson and jared kushner um 
So let's see if Kushner and Kurson um, conspired together. Then let's see if Cursor, Cursor rather, is actually guilty of uh, what they're charging or alleging that he's guilty of. And he is guilty. I mean, when you accept a pardon, you would affect her saying, yes, I'm guilty, and I accept this pardon from being guilty. So he's already said he's guilty on a federal level, uh, whether he meant to or not. And, um, and I would think you understand that if you get to the point that you're actually accepting a pardon, but who knows. Ken Curson, you and Jared, and are you guilty? I don't know. Something odd looks to me when the two of them are together in those pictures. Uh, six cards for the first part of this full Celtic cross. And I'm going to try to get two or more questions out of this session today. But uh, Ken Curser, Ken Curson, you and Jared, um, you guys conspiring together. Of course you are. Signifier card for that is the Four of uh, Wands. The four of wands are small celebrations. You remember this? This is they're usually four of wands that are holding up a little tent. There's a little party going on inside uh, with the, with the, the big doings way off in the background. Usually a castle in the background. So four of wands. These are small celebrations. And in this deck, they call this uh, and they use this term a lot in here. Uh, Aban uh, droid, I suppose it is, but that's a good rite. You know, a nice celebration. Uh, so that's the signifier here. Small celebrations, and that seems to be what's happened. Think about it. I mean, all the way back to being in a band. And uh, those are little small celebrations you have every night, every time you perform. And he's built those up into this big career. The challenge to it, though, <laughs> is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is uh, when you've just got so much against you. There's so many issues coming at you so fast, but you're able to, to fend them off. It looks like you're, you know, you're weary, but you've been able to handle it. So these small celebrations have brought up to lots of have brought him to, into lots of issues, but then every issue probably has been an opportunity. The base of this reading then is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is when you feel like you're just trapped, but when the fact is, if you look around, you can slip out of the, that uh, pretty easily. And uh, I think that's been his um, the base of this. That's been his talent really is when he feels trapped and he uh, finds that little way out in the past, and then feels like that's been a nice celebration in the past of this reading for Ken Curson and Jared Kushner. So this is how they got the two of them together. The Eight of uh, Wands. The Eight of Wands. What the heck is the Eight of Wands? It has to be some sort of a big... Um, oh gosh, I can't remember. Eight of Wands is... Um, eight of Wands. Oh, that's what everything's coming at you so fast. Of course it is. So that's what, again, lots of issues flooding, flooding the scene. So that's been his past. So it just has been a busy, 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 look at this, all wants uh, existence that he's had. And I guess he thrives in it. Uh, what kind of brain is it? I'd love somebody to tell me how his brain uh, works, uh, where he is on any kind of a, a spectrum of uh, autism or something like that. Uh, in the sky of this reading is the three of uh, wands. Uh, three of wands. What the heck is a three of wands? I can't think of it right off the bat. Oh, gosh. The three of wands are... Are those partnerships? I'm going to get... A, I have a, a cheat chart. Partnerships, partnerships, long-term goals. Oh, yeah. The Three of Wands is always trying to make that long-term plan. So up in the sky, at some point, he realized he could work all these issues into a plan for his future. And then the... Um, I wonder if that's about when he ran into Jared. And then the final outcome is the Ten of Swords. And this is being stabbed in the back. This is when he ran into Jared. Okay? Uh, that was going to be the outcome of that union always with Jared. That's how it's always going to be now. So was he or is he or did he is he guilty of these uh, accusations of manipulating the administration? Maybe I'll do another uh, few cards on the sexual stuff, but um, manipulating the administration, the self of that for Ken Curson, um, messing with the, the government, the star, the star. You know, this is a lot of actions. Gosh, that woman kind of looks like him in the face if you take the hair away. Um, that's, this is really, really, and he, he was. He rose to be the, um, the, the pinnacle of what he could do. He'll never do better than what he's done, I don't think. And then the, uh, the environment that that's in for him is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups are celebrations, yeah. So he thinks, or he did think at least anyway, but yeah, the three of them. So this was Jared, Trump, and um, Kirsten. Um, this is the environment that he's been in. The uh, hopes and the fears of all of this, then, is the Ten of Coins. Oh, yeah, you hope for happy family. Everything's going to come out great. Um, huh. 
that's interesting to get such great and then the final outcome i'll take it right off the top right here is going to be the six of wands which is celebrations victory i wonder if he's going to come out of this i wonder if he's going to come out of this all right well let's do this let's do a real quick pull on the sexual aspect so because that's what he's really getting um in trouble for right now so what do we got six cards here yeah one two three i got ten cards here four five six seven yeah i want to know about the women about the uh, sexual abuse my god he put the spy devices in his house to find out what his wife was doing what the heck was she doing that he felt like he needed to spy on her um so the sexual aspects the allegations against uh, ken uh Kirsten. ken Kirsten, all the sex elevation one two three four five and six i may stop at that six we'll see how this goes so the sex allegations the sex allegations what i want to know is is he guilty and is he going to be convicted so the the um signifier of that is the four of wands again how strange to come out with the same signifier and you saw me shuffle those cards okay four of wands celebrations small celebrations he may get away from it it's um challenged by what ah the ace of swords that's truth and justice a good right but that's on the side of the law so that's what those celebrations are challenged by now this is interesting now so the sexual allegations is what we're into is he guilty will he get will he be convicted of it uh, the base of the reading then is um again the star again the star what are the chances that would pull these same two cards I, well there's, there, someone must know but anyway so the base of this has been yeah that he has been the star and has put a lot of, of light right on it and then the past of this reading is look at this again the past was the 10 was happy family okay the past was all the money and everything that you want and everything working perfectly because what he's spying on his wife that was in the past now and in the uh uh sky of this reading is now the eight of cups and the eight of cups i've been on a, a rush now and i can't figure out what it is um the eight of cups is always walking away from some passionate emotional uh thing um yeah so that's walking away from maybe his life and maybe this the passion of these accusations and then the likely outcome of the first part of this is the oh yeah the two of, of, of oh well the two of swords uh, or rather this is the two of wands and so this is uh short-term planning so we're gonna have to go another four cards so the likely outcome of this is the uh, short-term planning but we've got a truth and justice um giving us a challenge here so let's see let's take one more card here for the self of this issue and he comes in as the knight of wands and he has his reading has been pretty heavy in wands so he comes into this as the knight of wands so he's going to fight for his um his action okay and it's in the the of course it is in the environment of the devil we, we know what that means right away he, uh, the hopes and the fears is uh what is this the 10 um oh yeah the wheel of fortune so it's a it's a crapshoot the wheel of fortune right here and then the final outcome is going to be right here the nine of of uh, wands which is just that heavy heavy load to carry so yeah it was the second it was the second uh full uh celtic cross that really told a juicy story and and i've got it right here so i'll go over it with you quickly so i just want to know is he it, you know, is he? Did he do it? Is he going to get convicted? We start with the same signifier card as the first Celtic cross, that four of, of, of wands, a small celebration. But it's challenged this time by truth and justice, a great big ace of, of swords. And the and then the base of the reading, which is another repeat card from the previous Celtic cross, is the star. So he had been the star, and then another repeat card from the previous Celtic cross was the ten of pentacles, happy family in the past. That's gone now. He's bugging his wife. And then in the sky of that, we had the uh, Eight of Cups, so walking away for some emotional, something that felt important to him. And then the uh, final outcome of that first part was the Two of Wands, which is short-term plans. And that just didn't make me happy, so I had to make this into a full Celtic cross. And when we pulled for him as a self of that was the Knight of Wands. He's going to fight for, for his actions there, but it's, it's in the environment of what? Of course, the devil. Yeah, and we know that already. We didn't even need a card for that. And then the Hopes and the Fears uh, is uh, the Wheel of Fortune, so it's a crapshoot. It could come out his way, but we'll see and then the um but new york's going to be tough on it and then the um final outcome is this nine of wands which is just feeling outside of the action and really a lot to uh, to you know to handle really embattled so it's not going to be great i'm mark my journey through tarot 
Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.